So the Perpetual Global Innovation Share Fund, first and foremost, is a global stock picking fund. We're really trying to find undervalued businesses around the world. What makes it different from other funds is where we spend our time and effort, and that's really on understanding new technology, new innovations, um, you know, science, how that's impacting different companies. So that can be anything from how's the retail landscape changing, and you know, do you buy leading e-commerce companies like Amazon or, or you know, delivery companies like um, Deutsche Post that are benefiting from that. It's about understanding AI. What does that mean? How does that impact companies? Um, who's benefiting from that? It's things like looking at the latest developments in drug development and you know, are there different healthcare stocks you can buy that benefit from that theme? But underpinning it all is that stock, you know, that stock analysis, that valuation that's core to the fund. So ideas come from a lot of different sources. Um, we do a lot of extensive reading, uh, we talk to a lot of industry experts, but we're also talking to a lot of people in kind of the startup and venture communities to really, you know, to make sure that we're on top of things that are changing. So we diversify across sectors, geographies, um, you know, value versus growth also, so we'll have some more value names in the portfolio as well as growth. It's really about um, you know, getting a diverse mix and, and making sure that they're all cheap from a kind of fundamental bottom-up basis. So the portfolio can hold 20 to 60 stocks. Typically it's at the upper range of that, so typically it's 50 or more. Um, what I'm really looking to do is have a very diverse range of stocks in the portfolio so that, so that I'm managing the different risks in the portfolio. So, so if one area of the market does poorly, hopefully other parts of the portfolio does well. So at the moment, we're finding a lot more opportunities outside of the US rather than inside the US, which, which is different from a year ago. So if you look at the top six positions in the fund right now, they're all outside of the US. We're increasingly seeing new ideas in Europe. Um, the biggest position right now is a company called Boohoo Group in the UK, which is a, a leading e-commerce retailer, I think it's very interesting. We also own Siemens, which is a leading industrial company. Like at the heart of that company is this great industrial software business. And also in the top six is RWE, which is a utilities company, but they're going to become one of the largest renewables utilities in Europe. So how you responded to COVID in the last year was a big driver of returns. We did pretty well with that because we were worried about it back in February when it you know, left China, was spreading through Europe, but hadn't quite spread through the US yet. So we responded by you know, selling Expedia and Disney, um, companies that were the most exposed, buying companies that we thought would do okay, like um, Amazon and Microsoft. But we also made Zoom, which we already owned our biggest position. And the thinking there was that um, if COVID got a lot worse, Zoom would do better and would act as a natural hedge in the portfolio. So that worked out quite well. But also after it was obvious COVID was getting worse in late March, we took, we took advantage of um, lower prices and bought some companies that were oversold. So for example, Tyro Payments in Australia, we bought and it doubled within the next two months. If I look at the landscape today, um, the process is the same as it was a year ago. It's all about this um, fundamental bottom-up research, trying to work out where, you know, what are the best stocks to invest in. The only difference is the opportunity set changes. So it's very different today than it was a year ago. So in terms of a favorite stock, I really like Axon Enterprise. So this is a company that invented tasers, um, and then they moved into police body cameras where they're now the leader. Um, what I like about that management team is number one, they're, you know, they're on a real mission to provide more transparency to policing, to end the bullet. Um, so I love the mission that they have, but they're also a team that understands the technology landscape. So they were the first team to build a cloud computing platform to, um, to store um, police body camera vid video, and they can now um, provide a lot of analytics around that much better than other companies can do. So I think they're on a great journey where um, over time they're gonna expand services to police and, and other customers. Um, it really centers around the, this mission of um, you know, providing transparency. So Axon body cameras are used by most police forces in Australia, apart from New South Wales. Um, they've, they've also added um, corrections, so New South Wales corrections are using them in their maximum security prisons. So performance has been pretty strong. Um, so the year to January, the fund's up 54%. We put a lot of effort into you know, making sure we have a valuation and a price target on every stock in the fund. So every day we're calculating what the upside of every stock is, what the upside of the portfolio is. And, and all the effort around the analysis and finding new ideas is all geared towards making sure that we're improving the implied upside of the portfolio. So we're constantly looking for new ideas to, to improve that mix. Um, so when I look at the portfolio today, I mean, I'm very happy with the companies we own. We think there's decent upside from here as well. So I think now's a great time to invest.